<laughs> no, not her. I won't kill. That bozo's brain was booby trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw... something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was... a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of... water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. That's her! Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years! Ford Crawler killed her himself! A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster. A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There is no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling, but if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That unstable character. Could Bam. never kidnap the grand head Head's of the lost. Psychonauts without help? Yes. You mean... There's a mole in the Psychonauts. If you think this is a mole, you're dumber than you look. Approaching the mother lobe. Agent Forsyth, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Motherlobe? What are you talking about, Agent Nine? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Is he all right? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. A mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. And they're trying to bring back Maligula. What? I know. Isn't it great? The Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Can someone help me with my dad? He's still acting funny. Truman! Let's get him inside so he can lie down. I'll see what I can find out in my meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? Ford Crawler, he gave me a badge. I've been kinda helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid. Agent Crawler is a hero. But he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission Psychonauts. But you can, right? You're Hollis Forsyth, lesser head of the Psychonauts? 
True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title, Second Head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. In the intern program. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the mother lobe. Is it okay if I go up into the main headquarters now? I'm sorry, little boy, but there just aren't any school tours today. What? I'm an intern. Agent Forsyth gave me this. Really? Let's check your head in the thinker print reader, please. Well, I'll be doused. Welcome to the intern program. Let me get you your orientation materials. really captures my startled side. Ooh, looks like I can choose where to focus my energy and upgrade my powers. Very interesting. Keep track of all the places I've been here. I'll keep my to do list here. Always useful.
for fingerprint. Access granted. I'm really here! Psychonauts Headquarters! Ow! Sorry, new ball. Wow! Agent 33, please report to Agent Forsyth's office. This plaque talks about how young Ford Cruller worked as a park ranger, so he can investigate this area and its notoriously strange phenomenon. He eventually set up a permanent camp in Green Needle Gulch and protected the area with psychic illusions and defenses. This plaque talks about how young Ford Cruller worked as a park ranger. He eventually set up a permanent camping. It says here Ford recruited powerful psychics from around the world to join him in Green Needle Gulch. Bob Zanotto, Helmut Fulbert, Cassiopeia, Compton Bull, and Otto Mentalis. Together, this psychic six form the foundation of today's psychopaths. This is the story of how the international community called on the Psychic Six to defeat the psychic mass murderer known as Maligula, and how that fight, the Battle of Bolovia, solidified the Psychonauts as an international peacekeeping force. Yep, that's exactly who I saw in Lobato's mind. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of the quarry being excavated and the mother world being built. This panel is about the ribbon cutting ceremony for the mother world. They don't look too happy though, except for Otto. This one is blank. Consider buying a suit, kid. Greetings, agent. Future agent? Running. Hello. Hey, Sonny. <sighs> wow! A bowling alley? A psychic bowling alley? Amazing! Doesn't look open, though. Psychic Six, the group of paranormal experts Ford Crowler gathered together to form the Psychonauts. I read all about them in True Psychic Tales number one. Tragically, none of them were the same after fighting Maligula in the deluge of Grulovia. Less tragically, but still upsetting. My mom used that issue of True Psychic Tales to line the floor of the world's smallest horse trailer. Ford Cruller, the greatest psychonaut of all time, and a close personal friend of mine, I might add. Did you see the way Agent Forsyth stormed through here? If she doesn't find a way to let off some steam soon, she's going to crack. She needs a vacation. Hey, don't we all? Compton Bull, master of Zulepathy. If he's anything like his grandson Dogen, he can be a little dangerous if he gets overwhelmed. Which is often. Otto Mentalis was Ford's first recruit. Used Citanium to engineer psychoreactive and psycho-enhancing devices. There's Bob Zanotto, 
pioneer in human plant telepathy. And he's Lily's great uncle. Helmut Fulbear explored a synthesis of psychic powers in the arts. Sadly, he was lost in the Battle of Grolovia. That's Cassiopeia, best selling author of Mind Swarm, expert in extreme multitasking and mental compartmentalization. She claimed to have independent control of every cell in her brain, controlling them like a swarm of bees. Wow! The Psychonauts have their own hair salon? Would it be weird if I asked for the Sasha 9? Doesn't look open yet, though. Hey, kid. You didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? Hey! What's up, Chief? Greetings, fellow psychic. I'm Otto Mentalis. I'm personally too busy crafting the future of psychotechnology in my lab right now. This automatic has all the psychic supplies and enhancements you need. Your friendly local automatic. Fresh new items await. Have a look around. Idea. Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. Excellent choice. So much cool stuff in there. I'll come back later for the rest of it. Dream fluffs. Get your dream fluffs right here at the automatic. Excuse me, but do you know where intern orientation is? Second floor, past the classroom. Thanks. If you passed the restrooms, you went the wrong way. But are we recruiting from kindergartens now? So like 11 by 14 inches? No, that's legal. Wait, then the paper I've been using is illegal? No, it's A4. A4? Out of what? Ten? Dude, you're making me stupid. Have you guys tried the new smooth ultra beige low pulp stock? No. What's so special about that? It's double-sided. Wow. What will they think of next? Hi. Hey, little agent.
So is this bacon really worth it? Well, it's made from honey pepper balls, which are really rare. Gosh, you know so much about bacon. Hi. Huh? You're doing this, aren't you, kid? You gonna order anything? Nah, I'm holding out for the bacon. You are a honey pepper fool. Uh-huh. Nice try, little boy. Wow! You agents share recipes? You're just like us. Uh, yeah. Right. Recipes. Oh, oh, try, little boy. Agent. Intern. Fellow agent. Hey, Mole. What's your problem? That hurts. Today. Why do I bother making signs? A dream fluff in your pocket will take care of you when you don't have the mental energy to Hello, do it yourself. For now. Do anything to help Lily? Yeah, keep me from killing Jared here. I know too many of his weak points. Why won't they let you upstairs? I don't know. Psychic sanitation or something? I'm sure they'll let you up soon. I need to get up there right now so I can start Dad's psych herb therapy. They put me in the intern program. Are you in there too? Raz, I've been training here since before I could walk. I tested out of all that stuff. I'm sure your dad's going to be okay, Lily. Raz, I don't know. He just feels all wrong. I'm worried all that Silurium we found him with in the Rhombus of Ruin did some damage. Hey, can we? Uh. What? Nothing. This small stuff is weird, huh? What's gonna happen? Oh, please. I've been around here my whole life, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Do you remember the last time you said that? Don't you know some secret passages around here you could use? Tons of them. But everyone's got mole madness right now, so everything's on double lockdown. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to help? Well... Actually, would you mind if I... Could I just... Anything. Can I just punch you in the shoulder really hard? Of course. Uh, thanks. That helped. Anytime. Well, I better get to intern orientation. You'll like Hollis, I think. She's strict, but deep down... She's really serious. Okay. Can I do anything to help Lily? Yeah, keep me from killing Jerry. Well, I better get to inter... Look, Lily, it's that rat we found on the Rhombus of Ruin mission. Don't act like you don't remember, Harold. We went through a lot together. Sky 
Scanning for thinker so weird. All new interns. Please report to my office for orientation. I don't have all day, new kid. Ah, one of my regulars. We appreciate your business. That choice says a lot about you. Thanks for visiting the Automatic. Psst, hey you, got some fresh stuff over here. Brand new. You're not expecting it, Brett! Hello. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Sonny. Hello. Hey, Sonny. Hello. Hey, Sonny. <laughs> Is that as high as you can go? Hmm. for your mentorship assignments. You won't get far without a mentor. Got some new gadgets available in my shop for testing. I, I mean for purchase. They're totally safe. Not available to interns, obviously. Hello. Not now, kid. Busy. Today's the day. Where did I put that stapler? Well, I can't leave this mysterious lost key just lying around. Oh! Is this a bad time, Mia? I always have time for my kid in genio. Are you worried about Maligula? 
Well, she died in the bottle of Grulovia, but sometimes the idea of someone is more dangerous than the person themselves. Her followers are what scare me. When someone devotes their life to a memory, they're capable of anything. Are you meditating? In a way. I'm reaching out to detect ripples in the psychic network around the world. What are you doing that for? I'm trying to find the illusionist activity around the world and report it to Agent Forsyth down in the nerve center. Ripples? A name like Maligula carries heavy emotional baggage for many people. It's like a large stone dropped in a pond. Ripples spread out, bounce off each other. If you know how to read the patterns, they can lead you to the source. Can I ask you about the Psychic Six? Of course, Rasputin. Are any of them still around? Oh, yes. Besides Ford, you know, there's Otto Mentalis out in his workshop, still tinkering with his gadgets. Sasha is his number one customer. Doganbull's grandfather, Compton, is here as well, but he... he keeps to himself. The other survivors have gone their own ways, unfortunately. What happened to... Helmet Fullbear? Oh, that poor soul was lost in the Battle of Grulovia. I wish I could have met him. He seemed to have such a love of life. And color. Did you ever meet Cassiopeia? No, but I read her book, Mindswarm. Very inspiring. I'm actually using some of her multitasking techniques right now, talking to you while I work. Did you ever work with Lily's great uncle, Bob Zanotto? Oh, yes, poor Bob. He lost so much in the battle. It really took a toll on him. I know it was very difficult for Truman to let him go, but it was getting dangerous. Oh, what that poor family has endured. Well, enough about those guys. Yes, let's talk about us. Have you talked to Sasha lately? Sasha and I are always talking. Oh, he says hello. Well, I'll stop bothering you now. Never a bother, darling. Ciao. If you would just cooperate with our investigation. Oh, I'd like to, but I can't. I know you're scared, but if you could just tell me who... No, 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 no more question. <sighs> Wait a second. Good. Oh, enough about me. Let's talk about you for a while. Need any help, Sasha? Yes, from him. Me? Help me find the answers I need. Oh, so this is all my fault. Have any suspicions? No, that's the frustrating thing. How could anyone in the Psychonauts do this? And how could they keep it a secret? Maybe he just hatched the scheme on his own? He has no motivation. Oh, hello, Dad. Someone hired him. And, given his access to Truman, someone on the inside. So about... Maligula? She's dead, Rasputin. Ford Kruller made sure of that. Nothing for you to worry about. At least we made it out of the rhombus of ruin. You performed well in the field, Rasputin. I'll make sure Agent Forsyth finds out all about it in my report. Just as soon as I'm done here. Why do you think he won't cooperate? 
He seemed to have such a big change of heart back in the rhombus. Someone has conditioned him, hypnotically, to be unable to tell us, even if he wanted to. But who? I'll let you get back to the interrogation. Sorry I can't help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Thank you. More power? Sorry, I hope that didn't hurt much. Sounds like it's quitting time. Please, Rasputin. That is not providing any new scientific insight. Can't leave this card lying around. Oh, what if? Maddening. John Smith, you are needed in reception. Nick John Smith to reception. Hello. Uh. Come back to the automatic. Many new items in stock. Hey, look out! Oh, sorry, I didn't... Whoa! Ow! That's mean! Did he hurt you, baby? I'm not a baby. Yeah, you are. Question is, who's this new kid? My name is Raz, and I'm... The new intern. That's ridiculous. I didn't ask for a new intern. Intern program's full. Sorry, kid. He is clumsy. He'd probably get us all killed. And he's mean. Well, kid, we give it a fair shot, and it looks like it just didn't work out. Better luck next year. Guys, quit picking on the new kid. We were all new ones, in case you forgot. I think he'll fit in just fine. In fact, I think he'll look cute in our uniform. Let's take him to the closet. Hey, you okay in there, Rusty? What's the holdup? It's Raz. I was just wondering, if there's an intern uniform, how come you guys aren't wearing it? Oh, well, we're level two. Now just hand out your clothes and we'll get you that uniform. Can't you hand me the uniform first? <laughs> no, silly. We need to take your clothes and measure them so we can get you a uniform that fits. Unless you want us to come in there and measure you. No, no. Here you go. Just hurry up, okay? It's cold in here and I'm practically naked. Uh-oh. Guys? Oh, come on! This is embarrassing in so many ways. They're not really level two. Oops. 
narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. I don't know the code. Rats! Oh, sorry, Harold. You're absolutely right. I should think about how I'm using that word. What is it, Harold? Do you know the code? Is the code in there, Harold? I'm too big to go in there. If only I could see what you see in there. Hey, that reminds me. Don't tell anyone I wear circus underwear, okay, Harold? Time to see the world as you see it, Harold. Aha! That's it, Harold. Once again, Harold, I found your perspective to be an essential contribution to the mission. Got him right where we want him, and yet we still can't extract the information we need. Have you tried the Corpus Colossorator? Of course, no effect. Deep lobe trepanator? It put him to sleep. <laughs> Medulla retooler? That was the first thing I tried. No use. <laughs> Why don't you just let me pop out that little brain of his and take it back to my workshop, where I could really, uh... Agent Mentalis, please. I have the situation under control. I just need a little more time. If I require more hardware, you'll be the first person I call. Sasha, you have to let me do more. You know it's because of me that... Otto... I mean, if I hadn't... Not a word, Rasputin, until I find you some new clothes. Sorry if the fit is a little off. They're the smallest clothes I had. Now, uh, tell us again how you ended up outside in your underwear. Oh, you know, I, I was sort of going undercover. Just like you did, Agent Mentalis, in True Psychic Tales number 62, when you used your defibrillator to hypnotize 16 trans troopers at once. Oh, please, that old yarn. Oh, they embellished so many details in that version. But in fact, it was 17 troopers. Well, love to chat, but uh, I gotta make like a brain and bounce. If you're ever looking for just the right tool for the job, come see me in my workshop. Even the best psychonauts require a little assistance now and then. Now, if you'll excuse me, Rasputin, I need to get back to the matter at hand. No, oh, no. I didn't bend the spoons, Mommy. Ooh, I love going through the car wash. Oh, and don't worry about the other interns, Rescue. Initiation rituals are a common method for a specialized social group to integrate foreign elements while preserving the social exclusivity of that group. Understand? Uh, thanks, Sasha. This has been fun.
Hey, kid. That was a dirty trick you pulled. I want my clothes back. You know, you're right. I'm sorry. And I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to let you finish my asset recovery mission. Why do I feel like I'm going to end up naked in a closet again? My intern assignment is to track down this list of missing Psychonaut assets. Mission critical assets. So, like a scavenger hunt? If you think like a child, you will do a child's work. Finish this mission, and we'll know you're ready for your clothes back. This looks like a good place to track my side missions. Hey, Sam, aren't you not supposed to tap the glass? No, it's the opposite. You're supposed to tap on the glass to keep their heart rates up. In this predator-free environment, their heart rates get dangerously slow. Huh. Plus, they love it. I mean, look at them jump. So what do we interns usually do? Depends on who your mentor is. Mentor? Oh, jeez, Raz. Don't you have a mentor yet? Get on up to Hollis's office and get one right now. Go, or I'll toss you up there like a dang goat. I really don't think you're supposed to. Back off, or I'll tap your glass. I'm really late to intern orientation now. I'd better get to the class right away. Since Zora is telling me their perspective on the world is especially worth seeing, with clairvoyance. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Tomorrow's payday. So if I bring you back all these scavenger hunt items, Mission. you'll give me my old clothes? Yes, definitely. If I can find them, I will 100% give them back. Experts agree, it's just not safe to use clairvoyance without my special clairvoyance enhancing pins. Cut! What do you mean my psycho mech bot is cut? Austerity measures, Oleander. Every department is affected. 
be a rank riser, not card miser. Check these new pins, the very latest. Ayanara Psychic. Once I get my pirate radio station going, I'm gonna have a few, not many, DJ jobs open. Oh yeah? What's it pay? A lot! In exposure. Plus, you'll get free music appreciation lessons from me. Pass. Oh, look, I, I really need you on the channel. How about a trade? Okay. Switch mentor assignments with me. You take Compton, I get Mia. No one comes between me and Mia, Lizzie. No one. Ugh. Did someone say something about pirate radio? No. Yes. Morris is doing it, and it's totally against the rules, and he's going to get kicked out of the Psychonauts. Lizzie, you're fired. Dream on. Can I be a pirate radio DJ? What's your area of musical expertise? Well, I grew up in the circus, so most of what I know is calliope music. I see. Looks like you don't need me anymore, Morris. Listen, I'll get back to you, kid. Make any decisions about DJs yet? Uh, yeah. It turns out I'm not doing the station anymore. Too busy with intern biz. <laughs> Coward. out about the mole. Nothing? Got Get a hold of yourself, Oleander. Gonna look fighting Maligula without my battle bot, cheapskates. Hey, I'm with you. Damn, Letting him build a battle anything is probably a bad idea. Oh, right, new intern. Thought I told you not to be late. Doesn't matter. You need a mentor. Let me see who's left. Ooh, am I helping Mia or Sasha on a mission? No, you're in the mailroom. Your mentor is Nick John Smith. Mailroom? Nick John Smith? I've never heard of an agent John Smith. Nick's not an agent. He's not even psychic. He's just good at sorting mail. You'll love Nick. Everybody does. But the mailroom? Ford Crawler himself worked in that mailroom. You could learn a lot there. For one thing, how to be on time. Okay, I've given you fingerprint access to the mailroom. Now scoot, I've got a base to run and a budget to balance. Where do I find my mentor again? Your mentor, Nick John Smith, should be waiting for you in the mail room downstairs. Why can't you remember this?
how's your dad? Terrible! I gotta go get him some therapy plants, stats. How'd you get that hatch open? Oh, it's got a fingerprint combination. I can teach it to you. Come here. It's more than just a number. You kind of have to feel it. Do you feel it? Yes. Good. Tell anybody you got it from me and you're dead. Bye! The very latest. About that now. I was just about. Let's to... combine that psychor with your card so you can rank up. Future agent? Nick John Smith, you are needed to complete. reception. Nick John Smith to reception. Access granted. John Smith? Hello? I missed on purpose. New intern here. I hope Nick's okay. Almost had it. 
I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Should I tell somebody? I don't want to get poor Nick in trouble. Where is Nick? I can't remember the last... so organized. What a mess. He's usually so organized. Where is Nick? I can't remember the last time I saw him. Everything okay in here? I'm, uh, Nick John Smith's new intern. Oh, so you're the one not sorting all this mail. Wait! Better get all this mail sorted, quick! You're making Nick look bad. sort this mail if I'm going to ace this internship. More intern credits for me. Got a side card. is addressed to Truman Zanotto. 
Hey, this might be important. I'd better bring it to Truman. Technically, this is official Psychonauts business. Heavy. What the heck did Truman order here? Ouch! That did some damage. You guys gotta check this out. The new kid killed Nick. He's alive, but he's brainless. <gasps> what kind of sick monster would steal Nick's brain? I mean, Nick! Maybe he saw something he shouldn't have. But why keep his body alive? And why mail it to the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? It could be a warning. Hey guys, does the Lady Lucktopus Casino mean anything to you? Isn't that where we sent Agent 33? To investigate suspected delusionist activity? Agent 33 is two days late with her status update. I'll get the jet. I'll pack the go case. I'll stay here and protect the children. What? Aren't we all going on the mission? We could use you in tactical command, Agent Forsyth. And maybe the interns would benefit from... It's not safe. Not while we have a double agent among us. I'll take her place. I've heard the buffet there is shockingly reasonable. Well, if you reconsider, meet us on the jet pad within the hour. Can't we just... No, all of you. To the intern's bay. Now. I've got some training exercises planned today that are both informative and safe. Last one there has to delouse the brain tumbler. TV. I bet those guys took Nick's body back to the mail room. I should go check and see if he's okay. <sighs> he is my mentor, after all. Yeah, but he's brainless. Yeah, but you know... Anyway... Excuse me, but do you know where Agent Forsythe's classroom is? Just upstairs. But I think she... I wish. Is something bothering you? Just thinking about Nick, you know? Oh, that's right. He mailed that letter for you that one time, didn't he? Hey, don't worry. We're going to find Nick's brain. It's just... He was so... So great at sorting mail, you know? I'll sort your mail, Colin. What? I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Visit your friendly local automatic. Fresh new items await. Oh good, you're finally here. Let me know when you're prepared to learn something. Don't wait too long, you'll miss class. <laughs>